I don't know about all of you, but I've been told humans are very interesting. They're certain to be a lot more interesting than anything I can find in this place. Something entertaining needs to happen here to break up the monotony. Or, I could go find some fun elsewhere. The humans seem to be pretty fun, when they're not dead. And I have an idea to make things fun for both worlds. <laughs> Let's see how interesting humans can be. What's this? Death Note? The name of the human being who's written in this notebook will die of a heart attack after 20 seconds. It, is this some kind of weird chain letter or something? <laughs> some kid probably wrote the name of all of his enemies in here. What is this? Japanese writing? <sighs> well... I'll turn it into the lost and found tomorrow. Some kid's probably missing his messed up notebook. Hey Luke, did you just get out of class? Uh, yeah, a couple minutes ago. What was that black thing you shoved into your backpack? Oh, it's just this old notebook I found. Here. Is this Chinese writing? Uh, no, it's actually Japanese. The name of the human written in this book will die. <laughs> That's dark. <laughs> Crazy, right? Uh, hey. Are you busy later tonight? Uh, there's this crazy bad Nicolas Cage film playing at the theater. Are you in? I, I can't. Two days from now is my family's trial, so I have to be with my family tonight. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope justice is served. Me too. I'll see you sometime this weekend, though. Yeah, see you later. Bye. <laughs> joke. Overnight hours and then tomorrow temperatures build quickly back to around the low 70s for the early afternoon, but then the rain starts up and the rain will having a cool cooling impact on the atmosphere. But Sorry to interrupt your weather report. We have some breaking news coming out of the north side of Crestwood. A man is holding up a convenience store. Allegedly, he is a bomb and several hostages. Police have surrounded the scene and have identified the victim as 42-year-old Sam Vitor. Vitor has no criminal record that we can find besides one speeding ticket four years ago. Well, I hope the owner doesn't mind me using this notebook.
person's supposed to die in 20 seconds after writing the name, right? <laughs> This just in from the north side. The man holding up the store has collapsed. A fleeing hostage said it looked like Vitor had a stroke or maybe a heart attack. Uh, he's dead. I just killed him. I just... killed world's most deadliest criminals. I'll kill them all. I'll just look through all my dad's files and find out who needs justice. He is the deputy of all, after all. Uh, murders. Rapists. Corrupt officials. Death row inmates, those in jail, and those set free are all dying the same way, like an epidemic. There is no explanation as to why. Some are seeing these deaths as a sign from a god or an entity of that type. A cult out of Japan has deemed this murdering entity Kira, the Japanese word for killer. More and more people are latching onto this idea of a godlike figure watching them. In the capital city, violent crimes were at a yearly low yesterday. It's clear, this phenomenon is sending a message to the criminals. Those who can be evil will die. One more. Fred Lutz. Lisa's. Sleep well, Lisa. Justice has been served. I am Kira. I am Justice. Good afternoon, but we need to get down to business. As the top task force of the United States, it is our job to investigate the recent Kira killings. The general public seems to believe that this Kira killer is a divine intermediator, or something along those lines. We, on the other hand, cannot follow such a lead. I ask you to find some evidence. Have you found anything? No, the trail's completely cold, but that means it would have to be hot to begin with. There is always a lead, and it is our job to find that lead. Why does she even care? This guy's making our job a hell of a lot easier. No, he is still killing people. Regardless of whether or not they are criminals, it is still a crime. Precisely. Killer that kills criminals is still a criminal at the very core. Oh god, when did this whack job get here? Been here the whole time. Great. Before I scold you for being here, do you know anything in particular about this case? In fact, I do. We're determined in this case, we have to drop what we believe to be possible. The supernatural is definitely occurring here. Cure is real. You're really gonna let this nut job law- I'd prefer if we didn't use my name for this case. I feel if the killer or killers know our identities, we'll be susceptible to their will. Anyways, Cure is real. Somehow he's killing off criminals without even being in his presence. 
This morning, I looked at a list of the criminals Kira's killed. Most of them are on the FBI's most wanted list. And the others have their crimes perpetually broadcast on news and media. However, I found two inconsistencies in the murder. One, the first heart attack victim was Sam Vitor, and he had no criminal background. And how do we know he was a Kira victim? The man could have had a history of health issues. Oh, but he didn't. The man was a triathlete and posed no recent health problems. And the second irregularity I found is that all of Kira's victims not on the most wanted list have died after their trial. Except for one victim, Fred Lutz, who died before his second hearing. And his crime was reported about in Northern Crestwood, Indiana. So our killer, is from Northern Crestwood. Also, I've determined that the killer has got into our highly secure police database due to some of the lesser known criminals he's killed that match our database. Unless our killer is an expert hacker, which I don't think he is, I think Kira has broken into one of the police computers. I think Kira is a college age son or daughter of a police officer. You think that our Kira killer is some mere teenager? The justice seeker outlook seems to fit someone around that age. Also, the daughter of the couple that Fred Lutz killed happens to go to Crestwood University, Elisa Manny. A revenge kill could be viable, however I don't think she's the one who did it. She's unable to gain access to police files, and her alibi based on education and Facebook just doesn't back it. While on Facebook, I saw her profile picture with one Luke Yaley, a criminal justice major and the son of a police captain of Southern Crestwood. I surmise, this young man is Kira. You're trying to convince us that you found the identity of the goddamn Kira killer based off conjectures? Precisely. This is absolutely ridiculous. We're gonna let complete dumbasses if we arrest a college student with no physical evidence. Actually, I think La L's argument stands. The only problem is, how are we going to arrest a killer without any physical proof? I have an idea how to get just that. And I'll get him to admit it himself. Where are you going? I've got work to do. All right, sir. Good luck to you. Hey. Lutz is dead. Justice was really served. How do you... I didn't think any of the news stations were reporting on it yet. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that Kira killed him. Kira saved my life. I just hope he keeps doing whatever he's doing. He will. How do you know? Well, I am Kira. That isn't funny, Luke. This is no laughing matter. Remember that notebook I found? Well, it works. Here, it's a list of all the criminals I wrote down, and Lutz's name is in, Lutz's name is in here too. No, no, I don't, I can't deal with this right now, Luke, I'm leaving. I'm not lying to you, wait! We interrupt this news for an international news broadcast. Hello, and welcome to this special news bulletin. I am Lindell Taylor. This is a report about the recent Kira killings. Kira, what you're doing is not just. Just the opposite, in fact. You are no better than them. In fact, you're nothing better than a serial killer. I will find you, Kira, and I will bring you to justice. Wait here, Lisa. I'll show you it works. Take that, Lind L. Taylor. <sighs> See who's almighty now, huh? You are Kira. You killed my parents' killer. Thank you so much, Luke. You're making this world a better place. Thank you. And I'd hope you'd come and live in this perfect world with me. Of course. I'll do anything to help you. Hello, Kira. I'm L. You have revealed your exact location to me. 
Taylor said this was an international broadcast. It has actually only been broadcast on Crestwood University cable system. We are shooting this broadcast in the communications board. I know who you are, and I know where you are. Do not even try to run. I will find you, and I will bring you to justice. He was talking ten minutes. If you try to run, then we can damn your case further. I'll see you soon. Why didn't you kill him? That must not be his real name. He must have connected Lutz's death to us. Uh, here. Take this if you find out anything before me. Okay. It's time to win this thing. Hope you know what you're doing. <sighs> me too. Hi. Can I help you? We have a lot to talk about, Luke Haley. I'm L. L? Uh, the detective from the news? What's going on? Let's get straight to the point. You and I both know that you're Kira. Hey, what? You think I'm Kira? Uh, the thing that's killing all these criminals? Precisely. Th that's ridiculous. How could I be Kira? All the logistics point to you. Your logistics are wrong. How can I be going around killing criminals when I can barely afford school books? That's what I'd like you to tell us. Can you tell me why you think I'm Kira? Well, your girlfriend's killer was killed the day before his trial, which breaks one of Kira's consistent trends, which tells me you were a little anxious to kill your lover's mortal enemy. Second, the man you killed in the convenience store had no record and only received coverage in this area. And lastly, evidence shows that Kira had access to police files, and you are the son of the police chief for this area. So you're saying your accusations are just based on pure coincidence? That makes no sense at all. No, it doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Who's the detective here, and who's the student? This is still not explaining how I'm killing people, even if I am Kira. That's for you to tell me. This is ridiculous. I am not Kira. How do I know you're not Kira trying to frame me? I knew this was going to be difficult. Based on the information I've gathered on you, it says you have a brilliant mind. Something I've written down in a detailed profile on you. Really? What else does it say about me? It says you have a strong sense of justice based on your coursework and other resources. If I have such a strong sense of justice, then why do you think I'm Kira? Kira has a deluded sense of justice. Kira thinks what he's doing is right, but in the end, it's wrong in every way. And based on your writings and coursework, it seems that you have a similar sense of justice. I bet tons of other criminal justice majors wrote papers similar to mine. Is that all you have on my profile? No, actually. My profile also says you're arrogant, just like Kira. Kira couldn't handle his ego being bashed by Lindell Taylor. Taylor was just a death row inmate when his trials weren't broadcast. I think Kira has a god complex, due to the details I've just provided. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. Uh, I was just thinking. Uh, you two said you were cops, right? Mm -hmm. My dad always said that police officers were supposed to show their badges if asked. So, if you two could show me your badges so I know that you aren't, like, some police cop wannabes or something? That's fair enough. You heard him, Andy. I hope you don't mind if I write your names down. I'd like to refer them to my father. No problem. No, that's fair. I think it's uh, only fair, though, if you uh, admit that you're Kira. I am not Kira. Hmm. Just keep telling yourself that. Justice will be given. Fifteen to seconds. The right person. I'm not Kira. Eight seconds. But I will help in the investigation if you need me to. Maybe it's just, uh... <clears throat> just what? What do you mean? <coughs> Cat got your tongue out? Well, it doesn't matter now, because I am Kira!
He sacrificed himself for a recorded confession. Freeze! This is the CPD! Run, Luke! She should have to these carefully, sweetheart. Attention, all units. Target is on the move. Repeat, target's on the move. Well, this was fun, Luke, but now that your girlfriend is caught and your identity is known, you are doomed. I need my notebook back now. It's been a lot of fun while it lasted. The other demons were right. Humans are such interesting creatures. Cause God is watching your every move Hold my hand in the dark street For if you do I know that I'll be safe Even if I'm far away and alone I can be sure that you'll find me there This I know You draw me close for a while so quiet, you tell me everything If I forget what you say Then you come to me and tell me again Yes, you tell me once again But what happens when I know it all, then what should I do? After that, what then?